Hello everyone and welcome to Friday, June the 1st and it says 5 o'clock on my clock. Um, so I will be starting with the front-end functional group update. So um, let's see what happened in the team. Uh, we uh, can welcome two new team members. I'm very happy to have both of them uh, on the team since uh, the last weeks. Both have already contributed and delivered even deliverables to the current release cycle. So welcome to Paul and Sam again. Um, I'm very happy to have you on the team. Um, we have hit already the three of three hires for Q2. Uh, so the third one will be starting in mid of August due to three months uh, leaving policy. Mike Grayling and Clement Hall were promoted to senior front-end engineers. Um, and we're having a good pipeline at the moment and get a lot of attraction to, to the front-end engineer position. So we get a lot of uh, applications, CVs, etc. cetera. Uh, but please, if you know anyone still uh, direct them to our direction, uh, our target is 23 uh, for the end of the year. So we are always open for um, new applicants. Uh, any accomplishments and updates? Uh, the OKRs uh, respecting the deliverables. We have reached 30 of the 38 deliverables and reached four out of 12 stretch. Um, the, as said already, the hiring is going quite well with the sourcing. It was an issue that we were first concentrating on all the big, uh, applications that were coming in, and we have a little bit of a problem as the current positions are quite far out of our network because uh, database engineers are normally not that connected to front-end engineers. So, but we are trying our best. Um, Eric Eastwood moved to the Gitter team. So he's doing a really great job there. Um, what I'm, makes me also very proud of the team is that, uh, again, the front-end team has contributed a lot to the content tech day and has uh, reached also position one again. I know that uh, they have put in a lot. So a lot of blog posts are coming, a couple of talks were given and um, in retrospective, I think that especially with applications and hiring, this is helping us a lot as we are giving, having a very good position in the community um, uh, that a lot of people are seeing what we are doing and are then also interested in our positions that we are opening up. Um, one of the biggest things that happened, one of the three things is the Webpack 4 upgrade. Thanks to Mac. Uh, again, uh, as you can see, we have hit a lot of performance improvements on the build timeline. Um, also, he has documented that we have now capabilities to do prefetching and preloading. That means, okay, that a part of the application is only loaded if a specific action is happening. For example, the JavaScript part of a drop down is only loaded uh, when the button for it is clicked, which helps us to reduce the, uh, the starting uh, loading time and uh, is really giving a much better UX on, and, and performance on the first load. The other big thing uh, which was merged last week is the Bootstrap 4 upgrade. This is huge. This was uh, a huge undertaking uh, led by the front-end team, by Clement, uh, Annabelle, Jose, Simon, and Eric chipped also in. Um, thanks again also for the, for the front-end reviews because, the, uh, as you can see, there were 700 plus file changes. And I think it was a really great team effort with, together with the UX team to find out where are showstoppers, what are the things that we need to fix. Um, and uh, that was all brought down to zero. And now we are basically polishing. So if you are still seeing stuff, take a look at the issue list, create an issue uh, um, and, and label them Bootstrap 4 and we will uh, have everyone who is currently free uh, is doing polishing there. Why is this so, uh, so important for us? Um, this gives us the opportunity to bring in, this is the base and cornerstone to bring in a view bootstrap, which is the chosen uh, UI component library that we want to use. And with this, we can, in the next iteration, really start to, to integrate those and, and that helps us a lot. And of course, we get a better uh, CSS framework uh, uh, underlying there, as a lot of work went into bootstrap for. Merge request refactoring, as we call it, uh, the big elephant in the room. Uh, what we have hit over the last months and really is an iceberg situation, which is not great, but uh, at some point it was like, we need to get through it. And uh, I'm very happy and thankful to um, especially Winnie and Simon, who also helped now uh, Fati over the last weeks uh, to get this moving. As you can see, even on the uh, last three weeks, we had 200 failing tests uh, because 
All tests also needed to be rewritten. Uh, there's a lot of functionality hidden inside the merge request refactoring page. At the moment, we are below 20. Um, so I'm really looking forward to, to do with everyone in, uh, who is involved with Victor and also all the engineers on Monday, uh, go and merge check. So if we are green on all the pipelines, if we are happy with the code and, and can go forward with the merging. One thing that we have hit is also catch 22 situation. So we were rewriting the merge request page so to make it uh, much faster. Uh, but we were having with the current one to review the code for that. Um, my biggest learning, and I think the biggest learning for the team, is really to, that we will never do again such a refactoring. Uh, this is, for me, out of question. The direction to do something like this in the future will definitely be to do a, a complete new implementation of that feature so that we re-implement the feature itself, but uh, have it either through a flag uh, or have it as a different, uh, like a like a side route so that we copy everything and have everything in a new route so we can uh, push to master, we can develop there, have a small cycles there and go from there. Um, so as said uh, in the headline, it's 98% done and we hope that on Monday, Tuesday, we will have the final state and hopefully get this now finally through the finishing line, which will give us the opportunity. First of all, it will be much, much, much faster merge request page. And as it is now a, a complete new application, uh, we have tons of opportunities to uh, do performance improvements, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So let's see, what is the next page? What are the current plans? Um, one of the big next steps for the front-end team, as you know, we are now at 18 people in the front-end team will be the structuring and sub-teams. This will happen over the next weeks. We will dedicate um, engineers to specific product areas, as it is also in, in the backend area. So this will be one of the big plans and also challenges, of course. And as said, the UI components, the GitLab UI um, is, is one thing that we are pushing forward, which was the, the base for that was the Bootstrap 4 upgrade. And we hope we can get this moving now uh, in 11.1 that we will have the first uh, view components that we can reuse in our application uh, overall and have that integrated. Challenges, um, again, um, as the last time, uh, um, hitting the 100% delivery of deliverables and also introducing the reusable UI components. I think this will boost our productivity by a huge percentage, but on the midterm run. So first thing is we need to find out our workflows. How do we handle the, uh, the external package? How we handle uh, different workflows of reintegrating this UI component library, et cetera, et cetera. So there are a lot of still question marks. But uh, as we go, we are figuring out step by step how we want to go down the path. Yeah, and that's basically it, what happened and what we uh, want to achieve over the next week. So I'm open for questions. Um, Philippa, there are a few discussions on Slack saying the merge request isn't faster with the refact and that there are a few obscure UI bugs. Will this be fixed before being merged? Yes. So first of all, there. It is faster, in my opinion, as uh, there are still some areas which can be improved. But by example, scrolling, I've already seen it with my branch uh, that scrolling with uh, 100 file changes uh, is much faster and much smoother. Um, and also the, the async loading makes it m appear much faster. But uh, as I said, we will have tons of more things um, that we can uh, reiterate on it. Um, UI bugs, yes, we will fix everything uh, that we see as a showstopper. If we see, by example, something really edge casey, really tooltip is not showing up if you're on Firefox and uh, move around the mouse, then we will uh, uh, mitigate that to, to afterwards. Uh, it's, it's better for us now to, to get it merged, have this big elephant uh, done and then really make it much faster in small iterations to fix those bugs as we do it in a bootstrap for merging to uh, really polish and go for the smaller things uh, afterwards. Uh, but we will definitely, uh, what I want to achieve is really get um, all green lights from uh, all the different people uh, so that uh, everyone is happy with the current state and then we will move forward. Um, so do we have any metrics on how much faster is it is for a given merge request? We will have these metrics as soon as we have it deployed on gitlab.com. So we have numbers uh, on the current uh, site speed uh, 
uh, instance, and the merge request page is the slowest. Uh, we have, by example, the one huge merge request that we are tracking since months has a final, a full loading time of 60 seconds. And I'm pretty sure we will be able to, to make this much faster, especially simply, we will still be loading the same amount of data, but as we can mitigate different loading points to asynchronous calls, uh, it will definitely feel faster and we should be able to also make it faster from the scrolling perspective, uh, from the initial loading uh, perspective, but we only will have numbers as soon as we have it deployed because locally, I must say, the measurement is, is quite hard always to get uh, proper numbers there. So I would rather want to wait until we have it on gitlab.com. Any more questions? Cool, um, then I counted a five, a four, a three, a two, a one, and thank you very much for listening. Um, thanks again to the whole front-end team for all their contributions and their hard work over the last weeks. Um, have a really nice Friday and enjoy your weekend, everyone. Take care.